Hey guys, welcome back. Now, as usual, before this video starts, I want to give a big shout out to Goji98. He's the one bringing back Jurassic Park Builder. I'll leave a link in the description down below to his channel. Please go subscribe to him. He's amazing at what he does. And he could really deserve all the help he gets because I'm sure you'll realize that bringing back a video game like Jurassic Park Builder is no easy task. So he could really use all the help he gets. Anyways, on with the video. <laughs> Welcome back guys, so earlier today I went to a Meijer and I got this. This is Jurassic World Dominion Minis. I have never gotten the Dominion Minis. I have plenty from Fallen Kingdom and I think I have two from the first Kenner line for Jurassic Park. And that's about it for the Minis, so opening up the box, let's see what we get. Okay, whoa. Okay. Well, that was... Well, there's one... Dang. Okay, so that was a bit unexpected. Oh, nice. So, here's the first mini. This thing is tiny. Holy cow, this thing is tiny. And it's a bit flimsy. Oh, what's this? And is that it? That's about it. Okay, now, as per usual with these minis, you usually get a little card like this, the Jurassic World Dominion logo with a pretty, a very nice looking artwork there. You can see there's headlights down there, there's the mountains and the trees in the background. In the back you'll see all the different kinds of more minis you can collect. The ones in here are the Trociraptor and I already lost the Atrociraptor. Where did it go? Did I drop it? Oh, it's right here. It got stuck under my chair. So the ones I have are the Atrociraptor and the Stegosaurus. The other ones you can get are Therizinosaurus, Blue, the Quetzalcoatlus, a Baryonyx of some sorts, a very weird looking Pteranodon, a Triceratops, that's probably just a repaint of the Fallen Kingdom mini Triceratops, a Lystrosaurus, which looks a bit fat, not to be mean, but the Lystrosaurus looks a bit fat. A Guanodon, a very cool looking Giganotosaurus, a very skinny looking Gallimimus, and how the heck do you say that? A Yangchuanosaurus, and a T-Rex. So that's cool. This is a nice little thing you can use. You can pose your dinosaurs. In front of it, I'll probably do something like that for the thumbnail, but anyways, there's that out of the way, huh, okay, so these both have holes in the bottom of their feet, I don't know what that's for or what that's about, but hey, it's got holes in the bottom of its feet, so I'm going to start out with the Atrociraptor first. This Atrociraptor is named Ghost. It's the only Atrociraptor name I can remember. The other, Another one I can remember is Panthera, and that's about it. I have no clue what the other two are called. But yeah, here's some... Um, the Atrociraptor Ghost. It's You can obviously tell that the base color is white, and then there's it's got these very cool painted brown stripes. Wait, is that brown? Huh, they're like a mix between... They're like a mix between black and brown, like the color of dark chocolate. It kind of looks like that. It might be a bit hard to tell, but they actually have red painted eyes. And that's it, actually. And there's not really any articulation going on here at all. You can just see I'm holding it up. Like, here are my hands compared to this thing. <laughs> That's how tiny this thing is. Yeah, it's not bad. I will say there have been worse minis in the Jurassic World franchise. And if you don't believe me, just look at the Hasbro minis. Those things are hideous. Uh, okay, so that's the Atrociraptor out of the way. There's really not much else to say about it. Now for a... The cooler one, by far. 
the Stegosaurus, which I believe, hang on. Yeah, I have it up here. So here is the Fallen Kingdom mini Stegosaurus, or one of them at least, compared to this one. I honestly think this one is much better. I think it's in a much better pose. Love how it's sort of hunched to, down to the ground. This one, unlike the Atrociraptor, just set that there, actually does have articulation. It's the same one that the old... Huh. Okay, I don't know if this is an issue with mine, but this figure has the same one that the Mini Action and Kylosaurus used to have, and the Camp Cretaceous Bumpy figure used to have. Where when you first take it out of the box, the tail is a bit stiff and a bit hard to move. But as you play with it more, it'll... Oh wow, that ended quickly. It The tail will become more easy to move. Yeah, I don't know why most Ankylosaurus figures had that issue. But anyways. So yeah, I love the paint job on this thing too. It's orange, white underbelly, brown plates, and white on the plates does this thing whoa this thing has like super tiny eyes like you can't even see them i can kind of see them but they're just like little black dots okay my camera's not getting in focus at all oh there you can see them now yeah, this is, uh, this is a really, really nice Stegosaur figure. I wasn't expecting to get it or the Atrociraptor. I will, I will be, definitely be buying more of these things in the future. I'm hoping one day maybe I'll get the Giga, you know, I think the Giga might be a bit of a rare one, but I'll still try to get it. Also, the box art looks pretty cool, too. They, like, it looks like dinosaur cages. Like, oh, that's cool. Uh, even the front, they made it look like a dinosaur cage. Like, that. It's like a window the dinosaur would look out of. Yeah, really cool packaging choice, too. Oh, okay, okay. So, on the side here, it shows the different ones you can get together. Like, the Lystrosaurus and Therizinosaurus, they come together. The Stego and Atrociraptor come together, Quetzalcoatlus and the Gallimimus come together, so on and so on. However, the T-Rex and the Giga don't really come together with anything. So either they're that rare, they don't have a counterpart, or they're just that big that it'd be impossible to fit another one in there. Hmm. So yeah, anyways... Here are the two figures side by side. I think that's going to about wrap it up for this video. Oh, I also forgot to mention. This is actually kind of flimsy. Like, if you bent this too hard, this would actually, like, snap in half. It's, like, really, really flimsy. Huh. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss any new videos. I hope you subscribe to Goji98's channel because he is a fantastic YouTuber. He deserves all the help he can get. And I will see you guys in the next one.